exercises on identity this is the second exercise and uh, let's move to the solution first of all let's see by running what is exactly required you have a page click on login this is what we want uh, but let's uh, register a phone first one two three four five and let's register it it's registered and now let's log in during login you must have seen a phone is entered and an OTP is obtained we have shown it here but it is usually sent by SMS copy this OTP and let me paste and now if I submit it we get uh, logged in so this is what we actually want in this project and let me show the solution now so we have this models folder containing as usual there is a page for login and let's have a look at this page so you must be already familiar with this uh, message a form and uh, let me show you this is the box story for phone and this one is for that uh, password and this get by phone link it runs on javascript it makes a call to a web api in our project and let's scroll to see the javascript as we scroll down get element by id add click event then some please wait is shown and uh, then this is the actual javascript we'll show you it's in our project this is web api it's in our project only i will come to that in a moment this web api actually sends that otp as sms and here is that web api we have used uh, this get request get password by phone uh, this is the return type it returns either ok or bad request and uh, this phone parameter reaches here and these are obtained by dependency injection first of all we extract the identity user if nothing is found bad request and we generate password reset token new password is randomly created and reset password basically changes the password so this is a sort of a trick that we have used and then we say password sent usually it is sent as sms message but here we can't do that so and this is a converter from string uh, from phone to email phone to email any format we have used it is internal used so internally used and in the program.cs file this is we have already discussed in the first part there is one single addition and this is the mapping for web api this is web api and it is this one that is actually used for mapping 
through root group builder this is one of the easier ways of mapping a cleaner way of mapping minimal web api so you can run download the source code i'll close it right now thank you